And let's look now at the uh, derivation for small signal gain input and output resistance for a common emitter amplifier with an emitter resistor. As before, I'm going to first draw the small signal equivalent circuit, uh, which is going to be very similar to the, to the previous case, except now I'll have an emitter resistor. So I still have uh, from the input, this is V in, my R1 in parallel with R2, going to ground, and then from the base of the transistor, I have the dynamic resistance of the base emitter junction, R pi, that will be V pi, from collector to emitter, I have my uh, current source, which I can label beta IV or GM V pi in terms of the current gain or the transconductance. Now I have an emitter resistor connected to the emitter terminal, which is going from the emitter to ground, RE. And for simplicity, I'm going to um, ignore the output resistance of the transistor. And that's going to just simplify my analysis. Um, again, you could you know, introduce it in there and do the analysis with it. It's going to be more complex, come up with a more complex expression. But then once you do the approximations, it should uh, yield the same result. In my case, I'm uh, just plain going to ignore it, and I'm just going to write RC to ground. This is my output terminal V out, and this is my AC equivalent circuit. My transistor will now be this part, has been replaced by its uh, hybrid pi model. This will be the base, collector, emitter, terminals. And this will be my IV current. Notice that I'm using a small signal um, uh, denominations for my different parameters, for my different quantities. So um, lowercase and lowercase subscript. OK, so I think we are ready uh, to start our analysis. Uh, first thing, uh, we can see V out will be uh, the voltage across the RC resistor. And that voltage, uh, we can see that out of this terminal, we have um, a current of beta times IV flowing through RC and then coming out of that terminal. So uh, that will mean that there is a voltage drop across RC that is equal to, by Ohm's law, that current beta times IV times the resistance RC. So I can write my V out expression there as, and again, since the current is flowing from ground towards V out, the voltage out V out will be negative. So negative uh, beta times IV, we said, times RC. Uh, my input voltage is the voltage um, at the top terminal, and so it's going to be equal to, so the voltage here is going to be equal to the current IV, uh, which is going to be flowing first through the RPI resistor and then through the RE resistor to ground. And so it's going to be IV times the series combination of those resistances. Or, um, oh, or actually, no, for RE I have another current coming in, so this will just be um, the voltage drop across R pi, which is equal to I V times R pi. And then for R E, notice that you have, so let me be more clear, this is I V flowing through here. But through the emitter resistor, we have, oops, we have both I V and beta I V, which is coming from this branch. And so this current is going to be the sum of the two by Kirchhoff's current law, IV plus beta IV, flowing through RE. And so the voltage drop across RE will be equal to IV plus beta IV times RE. All right, so I have an expression for V out, an expression for V in. The voltage gain is going to be the ratio of the two. So IV is going to be equal to V out divided by V in, or negative beta IV times RC divided by 
i b r pi plus and i'm going to uh, factor out i b from this expression so it's going to be one plus beta i b times r e since i b is multiplying every term in numerator and denominator i can uh, factor it out or eliminate it and so i'm left with a b being equal to uh, negative beta r c divided by r pi plus one plus beta times r e now notice that r pi is beta times little r e and so um, I can divide numerator and denominator by a factor of beta and that will yield negative rc and then r pi divided by beta will be little r e plus 1 plus 1 over beta times re and uh, this is close to what we know we can make the approximation that uh, 1 plus 1 over beta is approximately equal to 1 since beta is typically a, a much larger number than 1. Uh, and with that approximation, we are left with AV being approximately equal to negative RC divided by little re plus capital R. And again, uh, since typically um, the emitter resistor will be much larger than little re, it will swamp little re, and we can further approximate this as negative RC over RE which is again the expression that we came up with uh, earlier. Uh, input and output resistance calculations will be similar. My input resistance for the amplifier is going to be the resistance looking from the input terminal or in, and the output resistance is the resistance looking from the output terminal uh, out. And so R in will be equal to um, R1 in parallel with R2 in parallel with, um, and it's going to be R pi uh, plus R e. Remember, R pi was equal to beta times little r e. And then notice that we have uh, that additional current beta times I b flowing through R e. Um, and that's going to make our resistance RE uh, look much larger than um, or beta times larger. So we will have uh, R pi plus beta RE. And so this is equal to R1 in parallel with R2 parallel with um, beta times little RE plus RE. And R out will be equal to, and in this case, will just be RC, since we have ignored a little R out. I'm going to put approximately equal. And again, those are similar expressions to what we found earlier. Thank you.